What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to take a look at Power Automate and a new feature that's coming out that's going to allow users to type in natural language queries to be able to create their Power Automate flows. We're going to go through an example of this where we connect our Power Automate using natural language to the Dataverse and we create an approval process. So this natural language technology that's used in Power Automate is very cool. It's the same technology that powers GitHub Copilot and Power Apps Ideas, and it's basically a descendant of GPT-3 and it's part of OpenAI. So a lot of talk out there at the moment regarding chat GPT and GPT-3 and OpenAI. And so this is Power Automate taking advantage of some of that power and performance so we as users get to build our flows a lot quicker and maybe a bit more accurately. So let's go ahead and jump into an example of how we can use this. And I wrote a blog post about this. Uh, you can go to my blog and check it out. We're going to go through uh, basically something pretty similar. So let's dive right into it. So I'm going to head over here to uh, the uh, make.powerautomate.com. So the Power Automate Maker Portal. And if I go ahead here and click on Create, uh, you can see here there is a new option here that says Describe It to Design It Preview. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click on this, and this is where we get to build our flows using words, right? So it says here, start building a cloud flow with your own words, and it says here it's a preview feature, and here are some of the uh, things here that we can take advantage of with this feature. We have approvals, we have Dataverse connectors, Excel, Forms, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, OneDrive, Planner, and SharePoint, okay? So lots of things here that this automatically connects to and will build flows for us. And you can see here some examples. And this box here is where we would type in the actual flow that we're trying to build. And so some of these examples here, it says, for example, uh, when a new response is received in a Microsoft Form survey, create a task and then post a message to a Teams channel, right? And if I were to go ahead and click on this, it's going to go off and generate this and it gives us the suggested flow here, right? So it breaks it down into the trigger, the trigger meaning here when a response is submitted in Microsoft Forms, and then the actions it's going to take. And it's going to go ahead and create all of these things for us and guide us through this wizard here so that we don't have to build this from scratch, right? If we were to try to do this from scratch, we would be dragging and dropping these components into the Power Automate Designer, and then we would come up with our flow, right? Um, if we were to go back here and get back to our starting point here, we could see that there's other examples. When an item is created in, in SharePoint, send an email. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And we could see here that uh, something very similar, right? We, we have the triggers and we have the actions, okay? So what I'm gonna do is let's go and start here again and we will type in our own words here. And I'm gonna say when a new opportunity is created in Dataverse, send an email approval and post a message in Teams, okay? So send an email approval and post a message on Teams, okay? So if I go ahead and, and su submit this, it's gonna come back with this here, right? So this looks pretty accurate. It says, uh, when a record is added or modified or deleted in the Dataverse, what do we wanna do? We wanna start an approval process and post a message in the chat or channel in Teams, okay? So I'm gonna go with this one. Let's see what it looks like. And here we have the connections that come up here. So basically, this is just uh, ensuring that our flow is gonna have the correct permissions when we go ahead and connect to these uh, different connectors here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Next. And here it says, uh, so if we start at the top here, it's asking us for a table name. And so it hasn't automatically selected opportunities, right? And it's gonna be pretty easy for us to just go through here and, and search for opportunities and select this ourselves. Uh, this may be part of the preview feature aspect here where it's not actually picking up the table name. So, you know, there's, uh, as I mentioned, this is preview. There's so many features that are probably being ironed out or not turned on yet, but um, I'm typing in opportunities here manually. And then we have here start and wait for an approval. And this is where we get to configure the approval, okay? So we have the approval type. And if I select here, we get these four different options. 
We can approve or reject where everyone must approve this, this approval request. We have approve, reject where the first person to respond wins. Uh, we have custom responses, wait for all responses, and then custom responses, wait for one response, okay? So I'm gonna keep this really simple. I'm just gonna uh, select this first option here. Everyone must approve. And now it's gone and basically it's gonna ask us a couple of more things here as a result of this selection. So the title of the approval. So I'm just gonna say, uh, please approve this request. And then assign to is uh, where I get to add the approvers. So I'm gonna add in Alan here as an approver and I'm gonna add Alicia, okay? So we're gonna add two approvers to this specific approval. Now, if I scroll down a little bit here, we have post message in a chat or channel, and we can post as a, a user, a flow bot, or a Power Virtual Agents preview, okay? So that looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna go with user, keep it simple. And as a result of that selection, it's now asking me, uh, do I wanna post in a channel or a group chat? I'm gonna go with channel here. And I had already created a Teams channel uh, just with a couple of the, with these two members actually. And I just called it the approvals group. So I'm gonna select that. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. And then the channel here, I'm gonna select as general. Okay, I just have one channel in this team, okay. And then here's my message. Uh, I'm just gonna put here, please approve, uh, thanks, okay. So, and basically, you know, if, there, if I'm missing certain things here, when I go and create the flow in the next screen, it's gonna complain and I'll need to basically enter them in the next screen anyway. But this is part of the wizard and I'm just gonna go here now and click create flow, okay? So now the flow is created and if we go ahead and take a look at it, when a row is modified, added or deleted, and the type here is added, so it did select that automatically. It didn't go with modified or deleted or any other combination. Uh, the table name we had selected as opportunities, the scope. And here, of course, we could go ahead and add additional filters. I did try to filter uh, using the natural language queries on the previous screen before, and I wasn't really having a lot of luck with the filtering. Uh, but again, you know, preview feature, and hopefully they uh, build that into the product because it would be cool to basically say something like, you know, give me... Uh, apply this to all opportunities where the budget amount is greater than $1,000 or something, right? Uh, so without me having to go in and build this here, we just automatically do it, right? So, um, but that's what this, this looks like now. And then if I go here, it says start and wait for an approval. And this is the one that we've selected here. We have the title that we selected. We have the two people here, it's selected those. So this is all automatic. We have other advanced options if we wanted to add those. And then here we have post message in a chat or channel. And this is the where we're posting to Teams as part of the approval here. So uh, we can see we're posting as a user into this channel approvals group and everything here that we selected before, okay? So, you know, at a high level, so when an opportunity is added here, we're gonna go through this approval process, sending it to these two people, and that's gonna go into Teams and that's where they'll actually do the approval. So we're gonna see this flow in a second and it's really cool how it all ties together and so easily with just these three steps, okay? So now what we wanna do is go ahead and save this and you may run into errors while this is saving. Um, see, this has gone ahead and saved here, but if I just hop back over to my blog, there's a couple of things I wanna point out here. Uh, if I scroll down over here, here is a couple of errors that you may run into. This one here, uh, Power Automate Approvals has not been in installed for this environment. Run this approval flow to initiate provisioning, okay? And then sometimes you might get this one, flow save failed with code, invalid OpenAI connection, operation type. So uh, one way I got around this is basically I just created a manual flow here. So this is like a different flow that I just created. And super simple, it's just a manual step that, that has this wait and start and wait for an approval process here. And it's just a very simple approval. And if you kick this off the first time this happens, it's gonna go off and do the approval setup in the background in your environment. So this is just kind of a one-off step to get the uh, approval set up. And then once that's done, then uh, you're good to go with approvals basically. And then you could basically just come back to your flow here and save it and it should save. Um, the other thing is um, this step here itself can 
kind of get a little I don't know there's something something going on with the uh, natural language set it, set up of this step but if you just go and re-add this then you should be good as well okay so a couple of things to, to look out for there and again I've said this a million times already but uh, you know preview right so it's preview so not everything's gonna be perfect so we have this ready to go here so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go over to my sales hub app here and I have a, I already have these opportunities but I'm gonna go and create a new one so I'm gonna call this a uh, new opportunity and number five let's say and I'll keep everything else the same here uh, you know like I was saying before you know real world example maybe if you have a budget amount that's over a certain amount here you may want to add some conditions in there before you go off and start approving things right and of course this doesn't you know this example doesn't have to apply to a, to opportunities as all the uh, tables in the dataverse that you could uh, potentially apply this to right so now I'm gonna go ahead and click save here and this is starting the approval process so our flow is actually running now in the background and what we're going to see here so if you remember i have alice and Ali, uh sorry i have alan and alicia who are set up as approvers and i have them open here this is their teams here this is the teams for alan okay and then i have here and you can see alan's just got a request here right um and i have alicia's team over here this one and it looks like she's actually got a request here potentially as well so i'm going to click on activity here and you know again so i'm in microsoft teams now and i'm here as alan steiner who is a an approver and he clicks on this and he gets this approvals pop up here and it basically says please approve this request so that was the the message that i put in there and it's pending responses for everybody because no one has actually submitted their approvals yet and it's been requested by myself okay so i can add a uh, comment in here if i want uh, so I'm going to say awesome. I'm going to approve this as Alan. Alan's approved this and, and it's all good, right? So he is done. And now if I were to go over to Alicia, let's go ahead and take a look and see what she sees. So if she goes into activity here, she's going to see this here and she gets the same pop up. And here she already sees Alan's one has been uh, approved. And it's, it's a, Alan said awesome. That's great. And Alicia's response is pending here, right? So she could add her response here and say, you know, sorry or something and reject this. Um, you know, so she can go and, and do her thing here. And then now if I go back to myself, what I'm gonna see here is in my chat over here, uh, I'm actually going to see the two uh, answers that I got from Alan and Alicia here. And so it basically says that Alicia rejected it here and um, Alan's approved it, right? So it's rejected status. If both parties had approved it in this case, it would go to approved and that would be it, right? Um, there is also the ability to download this as a PDF. And let's go ahead and just take a look at this real quick so we can just see what it looks like. Uh, so here you can see it gives the chain here. And so if you were if you wanted to go and email this out to somebody, you know, you would have that option, right? That's basically the demo, uh, you know, very interesting, I think, the natural language here. So go ahead and check out my blog if you wanted to go ahead and read about this. But, you know, I encourage you guys to come over here and go ahead and click create here and just play around with this here. And like I said, you know, I think it's very powerful in that once these features become uh, production ready, it's really gonna help us to be able to build flows quickly without having to go through a bit of the groundwork that sometimes takes a bit of time. Hope you all enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.